Greetings everybody, I am Brian D0313. Welcome to my Nets uh, Casual Let's Play series, Factorial, uh, version 0 0.11.22. This game is sort of like Minecraft, well, mod, mod and Minecraft like that, in that the whole idea of the game is to build an automated, automated factory. So I saw this game up a while ago, I saw SKS play it a while ago, didn't really pay too much attention at that point. And then I was sifting through uh, YouTube a couple of days because I was kind of lazy, and I saw Direwolf. He posted a couple of videos of this game, so I checked them out. Thought, ooh, this looks like a lot of fun. Maybe I'll give it a try. So I decided to buy the game. I got it, and I really enjoy it. So as I said, this will be a uh, casual Let's Play series. That that means that, well. I won't be update uh uploading regularly for this, maybe once or twice a week. And I'll just upload as I go. So all my options are already set. I don't know how the sound is. I haven't already played with sound. Uh but we're gonna go to play. Go to load game. I got a couple of uh scenarios going. These two are pretty much the same thing. That's my first world. But I figured, found out that I, um, well, I don't know. I decided to start over after I learned a few things. I have, a, uh, I have watched a couple of videos of this game. Well, actually, I guess two. I've watched Star Wolf and our guy. And I've seen some, uh, pictures of, uh, designs online. And looked at the forums a little bit earlier today. I've been playing this game, I think, maybe two weeks now. But yeah, I just was looking at the forums at some ideas beat my ideas like well actually right here this is a screenshot of my uh my place. I think it's okay. But I it could be better, which I hope to do. And I just started this one uh this one up uh earlier today because I felt like it was a good idea to restart. Back gonna do a new game. Um not really don't mess around with this shit. Uh, peaceful mode. Peaceful uh, mode is off because if if uh, enemies don't spawn, then what's the point? Might as well just god mode, huh? And we shall generate. Now the one thing we really, really, really need is uh, iron. Apparently, it spawn right next to a bunch of coal. But iron is a big thing. If you don't have a lot of iron nearby. Maybe we'd have to pull, but uh, hopefully with iron. I will restart if uh, my starting spot kind of sucks. Right now I'm happy that we got the, uh, the coal, but I do need iron. If I don't have like, a good vein of iron here, then I might restart. Uh, how about that? Ooh, I see iron to the north. Okay, win. And there is oil to the southeast, but we don't really have that much coal. Bad. First thing you want to do is you want to go in here. So this is crafting. So this pretty much shows you what you what you can't craft. Anything that is actually uh, available or uh, highlighted, you can actually build. Anything that's like dimmed out, you can't build because of this mission. Notice how like for this thing, it requires a bunch of components like the circuits, the iron gears, the iron plates. And the cool thing is, is that you don't really have to worry about making these, uh, making those components individually. You just put it on the end, it'll make it for you. It's pretty beneficial in comparison to the miners. You to make each thing uh, individually. So there's different uh, sections. You've got uh, logistics, production, intermediate products, that is, and comment. Now it's very important because there's enemies around. First off, we're going to make iron pickaxe. And we're going to want to pick up by pressing the uh, right mouse key. I'm going to get some shit. Uh, fuel in this game right now is either wood or coal. So we have a Huge abundance of coal. We'll build up here. 
You want to just want a uh, the thin uh, burn uh, burner mine drill, which uh, it's just a mine drill that that's powered by uh, um, a fuel source. Uh, there's some coal here. And we want to make it our way. So we need a little more iron. Stone too. God, this is shit. Yeah, that grave of a vein of stone. Hopefully we'll find one. That's one that's a little bit better. Still not that great. I gotta say, there aren't really that many great veins of stone in this game. So sexy. You know, we get a bunch of iron. I'm going to take this, this is a smelter, it will convert iron into, well, iron ore into iron ingots. Minecraft. Uh, there's a day-night cycle. I don't really know if there's a big difference though. Box, don't make a box. Uh, right there. That way, that thing actually does something for now. Iron. So I'll harvest them a little bit more. Look over, look over on the mini map, you can see a bunch of uh, color icons. Uh, the silver is the iron. So the uh, trees don't show up on it. Uh, black is a coal. Orange is copper, which is, eh, it's useful. It's not as beneficial. Oh shit, there's enemies over here. Uh, that red spot up there are enemies. You want to stay away from them, especially now. Fucking murder us. Oh shit, there's enemies everywhere. I think enemies scale with, uh, with your research level. The more research you do, the harder the enemies get. All this, all the purple stuff on the map is oil. We'll take the that later on. We need cop. Yeah, that awesome player name. Uh, some iron vein, but no cop. We have one, but it's like not that great. Our cop one down here, it seems. Or no, another uh, iron one. There's another one up there too. Kind of nervous that to our starting spot. Is that more? Is that top down there? Too far though. Don't really need that much copper to begin with. Oh, another enemy. More enemies. It's about this. Never, never actually been successful with uh, dealing with enemies. Saw it down there. Yeah, lower left. There, there's a copper. I guess it's some fucking trees. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know if enemies migrate or not. I think they do. Oh, there's another one up here. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Trees, though. Nice stone down there. It's kind of far away though. That. Uh, it's kind of a bad. Might be a bad idea to be exploring this early on. To get your resources going, but we need to find the copper. Copper is key. Really? Start with some resources such as uh, some pieces of iron, 
uh, smelter, which lets you smelt uh, ore and ingots. Uh, the burner mining drill, which lets you mine things. First off, oh, we need stone. So stones over here. A little bit of this up. This is a good idea to explore the map to begin with. It does have a multiplayer uh, feature. Need a more iron. shows you uh, your production uh, of uh, the, th the thing that we just made. Uh, before I change that up, go back here and press R to rotate this. You see where the triangle is? The yellow triangle? That's uh, the output. So it's all you there. And if you hover over this thing and press R, it will rotate itself. So I want them to feed into each other. That way they will pretty much go surf gold and they will find coal. Beneficial early on. You oh wait, I rent yeah. No, I need more iron. No. You don't have at least this iron pickaxe to kind of screw early on. Or, um, need more stone and more iron. This is north. So, put you in here. Grab some more stone. There isn't really that much many uses for stone. It's used for, I think, two things in this game. Actually, no, I think there are some things that require stone plates. So, grab you. The good thing to do early on is just to make at least one burner, uh, burner drill for each resource. That way they, uh, get themselves going. So, I'm gonna get a couple, uh, more furnaces. Yeah, steal the iron. I want you? What am I missing? More iron. Once I get this going, I'll be good. Good to go. Victory be upon us. Over here a little more though. Oh, trees. See them on the mini map. up here. I'm stuck in a tree. I don't know if you noticed that, but I'm stuck. Get down, tree. So there are different biomes in this game. I know that there's like a desert biome. Or is that just water? Uh, there's a desert biome, I guess there is a grassland, maybe a tree biome. I don't know, I seem horse before. Kind of annoying because you can't really get past them.
sure when you watch this video, it'll, re it'll remember her. <laughs> remember this? Be like, oh, I remember that. No, I don't. Man. Then he would remember when I was telling him to uh, hire four employees for Game Dev Tycoon. Like, hire four employees. What? Hire four employees. What? Now that's employees. Okay, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna rotate it in the burner or into the smelter. So, have any uh, more? Uh, this is your inventory. Press E to get to here. Oh, it's just 50 stacks. Yeah. yeah, 50 stacks of a small bit diverse. Some things are like 50, the other things are like 100, 200, stuff like that. My cell phone. I put you in. There you are. It's a roster streaming. Ooh, record or stream? Hmm. Hold that thought. Okay, I'm back, people. Sorry about that. Uh, got distracted by Sir Rosser. He decided to uh, start streaming, so I figured I'd go in uh, and join him. Oh, this is what I think. The sounds trying to loud. Oh, loud. So give me one second again. Okay, we're back. Hopefully that's good enough. Uh, let's see. I think we're trying to get to automation, which is the whole purpose of this game. Right now we're uh, manually doing things like manually harvesting uh, iron, yeah, smelting it. But what else do we do? It's a nice vein of uh, copper to the west. Got some rock right here. Uh, want you at some. I'll get another one of these but bad boys. Do I have any more? Yeah, I do have coal. And I'll use you to harvest you. I should also get another one to harvest the copper down there. All oh, these guys probably want. Yeah, there we go. I made another one? Uh, too early. Another uh, chest. Right there. And you can harvest up the rock. Ha <laughs> ha. Back up and As I said, iron's very important. Uh, important, so it might be a good idea to uh, have a couple uh, burner uh, drills to start out with. Yeah, I'll get two more. I'll get another. Uh, I guess two more. Uh, Furnaces. Down here and grab some more coal. Stuff in here. Grab you. Grab you. I want to be as efficient as possible in placing these. Now the uh, these burners are rather temporary, so I don't really care what I do with them. What's a way to like partially put like the thing in like that's a full one but there's a way to half put it in. Oh uh, I don't know. It's just lost. Okay. Well, now we're making more iron. More iron, juice. So if, first thing we want to kinda do is we want to just close this pot we want to start Electricity. In order to do that, we need some water. It's got lots of. It's best to put it in good location. And good location is usually close to the uh, cold. 
so I might start out up here. I made one yet? A uh, pub. Can't make you because I think I need uh, I need some copper. Make two of you. And here's the copper as we found earlier. Put you there. There, you there. Wrong. Let's get ourselves some more uh cord. Look pretty good. Special will be doing something much better. It's sad though, I don't think uh As I was about to say, uh, there's only one, uh, one minor upgrade. It's not, I don't know if it's really an upgrade, it's just an electrical version of the minor. Yeah, I was expecting like later in the game you get like an even more upgraded version of the minor, but you don't really need it. Once you have enough out here, it's kind of menial. That run in their abilities run pretty low. That's some more corda. So in order to get um, electricity, we need to get uh, some boilers and some steam engines. And we need an offshore pump. A lot of uh, copper, a uh, copper iron. Got some more rock. Stone, I mean. I kind of wish that there was actually veins of stone. It's not really that many. It's usually small shit like this. Uh, if you notice in the mini map up here, there's this like red hue. It's actually pollution. Pollution is, is apparently bad in this game. I don't know what it does. Apparently, it's in the game. It does something. I need boilers plus steam engines. I don't. Oh, whoa! That's a lot of stone. Take it back. <laughs> um, I really need to get to that uh, top over there. Apparently, put one here. Put it up here, I think. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we should probably get some pipes. I don't really know. Uh, so you need the boilers to boil. Or to get to bring the water to a boil and then you put in the steam engine that produces electricity. Uh, I don't know the ratio of the two. Uh, I think we'll go with five of these and. I think we'll just go with five of these as well. Who cares, right? Let's go here and check our stone. By the way, we don't have infinite resources. As you see, uh, mine and hardness is, uh, hardness is 0.4. I guess that means it's how hard it is to mine. This determines mine speed, mine times 2. The amount is 6, six three. so if we mine the scan, it will go down 6, six two. So, Add more of the iron. Iron. So these things are well fueled with uh coal. I get uh I thought I got pipes. No, I probably they probably turned into uh engines. I'll get one of these as well. These are underground pipes, so what you do with them is this that that way, uh pipes they are pretty much obstacles. You can't get past them. It's like this. So if you have this, and you can actually get past them, it's kind of beneficial. And what I'm do is, where's my pipes? God. Oh, by the way, if you want. Oh yeah, it says uh, how many how many of the items you can actually craft. So if you want, I recommend you to do uh, left click, which makes one. Right click makes five, and shift click actually makes the full 93. Be careful with what you do. 
I'll put a pipe right there for now. This is all this is temporary right now. I'm sure later on I'm going to change things up. I got five of these. I'm going to that, that, that. Don't leave a space in between. And I'll put you right there and there. Bring the pipes down. I don't understand why, uh, what this area over here is for. Uh, the hot bar is uh, 1 through 5. Search doesn't do anything. I didn't pre I'm pressing 6 right now. I don't know what the point of that is. Why can't you do up to 6? Well, here we go. I also want to get, uh, right now, just 5 of these. Uh, burner inserters are just like the burner uh, miners. They require coal in order to, all these things are filled. I want that to happen. Uh, they require uh, coal to fuel, but they're actually quite beneficial over here because in order to fu uh, fuel these, you need coal. And the good thing about them, it, so in order to fill the, uh, fuel these, you need coal, and these also need coal to fuel. And the cool thing is, is that since we're going to be uh, transporting coal down here. Uh, these things actually self-insert themselves with coal, so they stay, uh, they always stay fully, uh, fueled with coal. That's cool. I also want, like, five of you as well. Oh, we got electric, uh, we got an electrical plant going. Oh, no! Sad thing is though is that like you waste resources on these burners and eventually they will be useless. You know something? Ah, oh. ooh. Heat is uh, I need my iron to be uh messed up. Don't make like a couple of you. Want to make uh. Five of you for now. Yeah, see, since uh, we're crafting the, everything ourselves, uh, a queue line does line up. It's kind of not beneficial. There we go. Now it's being powered, and that symbol right there means they're not really connected to anything. So. Put up electrical pole here. Here, are these things doing anything? Are they upset because the front ones aren't filled. Uh, in order to make uh, these, it requires circuits, gears, and iron plates. Okay, it's getting dark out. So what I want to do is up here. Up here's gonna be our uh, massive iron production. I'm gonna review you. You. I also want to make uh, these conveyor belts. Make, uh, some of them. You up? Okay. So we got this big, big. Big vein of iron. What I want to do is you want to get maximum surface area, so I'll put you there, there, you there. Okay, I'll do that for now. It's kind of overkill, but as I said, iron's important. They require power. That. So as you see, that's the output. I'll get some more of these power lines. What we do is I'm gonna remove you, and then put you down here. And if you hold down that button and drag, it'll put the power lines at the most maximum location. Application. 
There. There. Eh, oh well. So now they're being powered by electricity. Awesome. And since I have you, you're, you also require electricity as well. Uh, you press R to rotate. Uh, the arrow means where they're going. There, there, there. Actually, over chill. Oh well. Again. Actually, bad idea. Oh no, I my pick. Grab another one. Yeah, so slow without pick. So I won't put you there. Now we want to keep them separated uh, by two. I always like to have them uh, parse out like that. No! Oh. Set. I also need more of these. No! Oh. Electricity doing good. Um. Yeah. We get more conveyor belts? I thought we made some. There they are. So we're going to be smelting the ore in and it's going to be coming out to this conveyor belt. This is only temporary for right now. And then down here. We're going to send that into an iron chest. I'll use an iron chest right now because, damn, here, fuck it. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's good. Right there. There, and then we just need to connect them up. And now we're going to be smelting iron. Yeah. But right now it's not totally, uh, it's not totally automated because it needs fuel. So, uh, Wait, what do I need? Oh, I need more of that. Okay, about you, eventually I will get, um, what's your seat over there as well. Oh, um, how much of this shit do I have? Now, I'll have you do more. As well. Go. Uh. So can't make you why because of the uh, oh I probably need more iron. Really, it takes 23 iron to make one. That same. There's a lot of iron right there. Three. All three. I want. Uh, next thing I probably want to do is automate this. That's what I'm going to do. As I said, we'll be needing coal. Fuel this, fuel this, fuel this, and fuel everything! We get this in automated, and that's good news bears for us. Space. Hopefully, this should be good enough for uh, the start, unless you're going super epically, uh... Oh, I need more iron. Unless you're going like super epically, uh... Big, massive scale. I have, uh... Need more of these. Um, I can make more, right? Yeah, look at this. Oh, that's too many. Oh well. Oh, we're making more. As you see, we have a backlog, which is bad news bears. Take you, I don't take you. So, uh, pick stuff up, press F. There we go. Oh, didn't really want to do that. Yeah, bad backlogs are bad. 
stay consistent. One of these. Oh, yes, I can. As well. Kind of annoying because we gotta craft all these other things. Eventually, I will have uh, something that does craft uh, the things that we need to craft these, like the uh, top wires and these things as well. This. Go. That's as far as that should go. Now I'm not an expert at this, so don't think I am. Put you into the chest. You. You. Where you going? You want? Oh, actually, split that in half. Well, because who cares? What are we doing over here? Maybe hover over says how much is left over. You need power though. Let's get more of you. Uh, might be a good idea to start at the end point. And actually, for this, uh, usually with the uh, these things, the inserters want to end up very about one, uh, just one before the final one because it'll just off the game that's on it will offload right here and it'll you up. This I want to go one more over because I'm going to paint the storage chest. I'll make this up. If I actually had enough get more iron. Any more coal doesn't look like it. Nah I don't have any more coal. Go. Let's get ourselves power. I'll get rid of you. Do that. Just like no, I didn't want that. I don't want. I will see the and want to keep everything like gatherish. Some of this shit. Because we don't need to power the uh, claws. Well, the inserts. I mean. How's this shit doing over here? How's our copper doing? Still making, still making copper, yes. So now, as, as I said, copper's not that important right now. I'm really worried too much about it. Uh, there's two sides to bear belt. There's a, I guess, left side and right side. It's best to try and utilize both sides as possible. Also specialized fair belt by putting like have one item come up one side and different item come up a different side. Like copper one side, the other side. Backlog. All you need really is just one in here to get started. As I said, it should keep itself self-fueled. Let's go for the early game. other word. I don't know. Probably not, probably not really worth it. Uh, but there's not really that expensive. Oh yeah, inserters. They usually only per, uh, put a certain amount into uh, where they're uh, loaded into. Unless if there's a chest. Chest and they just fill it up until whenever. ourselves some more automation. So we need to automate our copper down there. Yeah, we're going to want to research. This game has research in it. Awesome. I ran out. Ah, I'll just fill you up with some more. It's not clear that I want yet. Down there, but I want, mainly want the copper to the west. Oh, you ran out again, huh? I guess we're gonna put this 
down. Uh, right there. Right there. Right there. Any more? Nope. Okay. Need more conveyor belts. I need more uh, iron. See, one side's already filled up. Because there's more, uh, more of these things. This thing's gonna be good for now. That will last us a long, long time. Still have a backlog of iron. A backlog of uh, storage here. We'll fix that later on. This. Push it up. Should be good enough. Hurry up. And you just see there's overlap, but oh well. Shit happens, right? Here's fine. We need extra, there would be more fuel there. Wow, picked up a lot. A little bit too crazy, huh? huh? Uh, we're gonna need more of you. You. What I want to do is I want to make you go north. That's where the iron is right now, and as I said, iron is super, super important. I don't really need a source chest for the copper because copper's only used for one thing. One thing only. That's easy used for a couple things, but not that special. And we're how to pull this line up. Fuel you, fuel you, fuel you, and fuel. There you go. You. I'll just here because that's where the power is. Oh shit, I didn't really mean to make all them. But oh well, we got enough iron. Here we go. One of you. We really need to start researching. More iron. I make a set of these. Yeah, put them over here. Oh! Uh, did I run out of poles? Yeah, I did. Damn it! Actually, no, I didn't want to move that other one. I'm going to leave you here. I don't want the other one inside the iron. Grab you. Oh, you ran out of fuel, huh? There you go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, you. Pathway up here. This is going to be for 
the um, out of the cold. Now we can put you down. Always about planning. If you don't plan right, then you're fucked. Fucked big time. Like your Sir Ross are type of fucked. No. Oh. By the way, if um if the conveyor belt uh, gets locked up. And this entire gets backed up, which is bad news bear, so don't let that happen. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, no. Yeah. Say so you don't need to have that last one there. I ran out of power pulls, right? Are you doing anything? Oh, you are. Good. So, good. So we want to research. If I press T right here, it opens up the, re uh, the research menu. It shows us what we can research. Anything red? We can't. Yellow, we can research, and then down below would be green, and that's things that we did research. So, really early on, we want to definitely research automation. That lets us make auto crafting tables and have these lawn in, uh, inserters, which lets you uh, grab like multiple blocks away instead of just like the one adjacent. That requires, I don't know what the tenda means, but it requires. Yes, 10 of these science packs, which are rather easy to make. It also says, because of this, it lets us make electronics, which lets us make these, which is all sorts of shit like this, and go like down the tech tree and wow, bam. Press this and research. As I said, in these science packs, we got to make a lot of them, so I'll make a couple. Also, in order to research, we also need this in the lab. Will you? Let's just get the fuel now. We can actually do a uh, control click in order to pick up everything. Put it over here. It will work. I said that's for coal. That'll come in, that'll come in later. Uh, let's make at least one of these for now. We're definitely going to want to make more labs. As more, the more labs you have, the more efficient. Uh, you are with uh, researching. Later on, we'll definitely want to automate that. Yep, we have a bunch of uh, oil we have around. Finding oil in a game like uh, uh, Civ 4 is uh, really hard to do. It's going to be for. Uh, you want and one thing you kind of want to do is like make uh, these uh, uh, processing farms. Now this is kind of small. One, four, five, six. Here, six as well. It's a compact. I think it's more efficient than what I did in my, uh, beforehand in uh, my first playthrough. 
game because I was kind of uh, meshing the iron, the iron and copper together. Now I'm going to keep them separate. They're going to be independent of each other. I think that'd be more beneficial. We got the lab. We place it down. Uh, there's different science packs. The higher up it is, the more um, uh, complex the recipe is. Basic science pack, relatively easy. Tires, top plate, and the iron gear. Iron gear requires two iron plates. It also says down below, like used by, uh, what's used by, and it says how much of uh, materials are used. Generally, so we need two iron plus one. Put you into here and I'll just do research. Later on, we'll be able to put modules in like speed, efficiency, production modules. Can't really do anything that one just yet. Electricity. Oh. Yeah. I say as long as you set up like this, keep everything like right near each other. Yeah. It actually looks nice. You though. Here we go. So these are actually small, um, small electric poles. Don't confuse them with the big ones. And they have a small radius. It's a five by five. Looks like five by five radius, and they don't really have that much of a connectivity. Later on, we'll get better ones, which will uh, get a uh, longer distance and more radius. Automation. I make, yeah, I'm gonna make more of these. So we'll get one up here because that guy's dead. So one, one up there. I'd rather have one over there as well. And we research our first thing, automation. So it lets us uh, make crafting tables, which will automatically craft things. And we have these long uh, inserters. Nice. Next, I uh, don't want you just yet. Uh, we will definitely want military very early on because that lets us get better weapons. As I said there are monsters here and they're pretty brutal. Uh, tool belt would be nice, but it requires the science pack, pack twos. I don't know what this thing is though. Use one quick bars. I don't know what that means. Uh, science pack twos are a little bit more complicated to make. We don't really have the resources to make them, so stay away from this. Uh, Electronics lets us make uh, smart inserters, which uh, we tell them, hey, I want you to insert this instead of this, something like that. While all the other, uh, all the other inserters, they just insert things as they come by. But there are, some, um, in a way, they're source, they are sort of smart, like if um, crafting tables, they are always smart because you have to follow the crafting recipe. We mainly want smart inserters for things like uh, transferring between uh, conveyor belts, between chests, and to the uh, furnaces. Let's make more things. Don't really want this just yet. Don't really care for the smart inserters this early on. Uh, logistics. Let's just get uh, underground belts, which I'm kind of disappointed about because they don't really have that much of a uh, Connectivity distance. I think it's maybe like like five, so it's kind of pointless. Mostly, the only good thing about uh, the underground belts is it lets you uh, get past any obstacles. But uh, if you have something huge like right here, like this uh, this uh, power plant, you can't really get past it. It also lets us make the, make the fast inserters, relatively cheap to make. And splitters, which lets you split a uh, cargo up on a uh, conveyor belt, so we just split into two conveyors. And I was I was looking on the on the forums, and there's like so many awesome designs that people made just with uh, uh, conveyor belts, splitters, like underground belts, and splitters. 
Hopefully I can bring it the same. Uh, we got optics, which lets us make lamps. See in the dark. Uh, don't really need that just yet. Turrets also come in handy in, in uh, defending our area. I don't think we really need them just yet. Might be a good idea to just get them and um, set them up around your primary area areas because the monsters do show up and they destroy your shit. And that's lost for good. Unless you want some sort of de uh, defense. Some walls or walls. Uh, steel processing lets you convert iron to steel through uh, smelting. Get a better chest and a better uh, mining tool. Uh, tool belt we saw. Your tool belt down here. Doesn't let you go up to uh, 10 though. Still is 5. And then armor. So I want to go for logistics mainly because I want these things. Search that. That way I can actually transport people up here without having to bypass this. So I think about it. this episode. How are you doing here? You will be able to make it. I think I'll end the episode here. And I'll pick up next time with uh or automation. So until then, until then, this has been Brian D0313 saying see ya and have a good day.